action. This woman tried to beat me up, bro. Like physically whoop you? Yeah, she like she she was playing, but she wasn't playing. And so she jumped on my back and she had her arms wrapped around my back in like a full Nelson type joint, you know. And she tried to take you to dog bro, on hey, WWE. Hey. Like she had me in such a way where like the only way that I could get out was if I harmed her, right? It was gonna cause her some pain. If I tried to just like slam or like, you know what I'm saying, get boom, hit her with one of them, yeah, yeah. it would have caused her some physical pain. And so she's laughing, so I know she's playing, but while she's playing, I'm turning blue. Choking your ass up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I, I'm I'm turning blue. Man. And she know what I did? What you gotta do? I couldn't do nothing. I just looked at her like, please, get y'all give me. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that make you feel? Man, hey, I, I felt absolutely positively fine because I know that if I wanted to use my power against this wonderful person, I would have been able to win the situation. But when has it come a problem for them to use their power against you? It's never a problem because, like, as a man, you're supposed to be all these things. And when you say all these things as such and such and such, every individual person has their own interpretation of what a man is. Yeah. And so that leaves, like, regular human males with – uh. The, the, the cock and balls, excuse me. I mean, the bat and balls. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, how do how do we be able to really exert ourselves in this society when people have expectations of who I'm supposed to be? Man, I think there's a whole lot of unwritten, unwritten rules <laughs> in being a man. Uh, I think it's all subjective. A man should be whatever you think a man should be. I don't think on, people wait, wait, wait. outside of... Before when you say stuff like that, it sounds like you're saying... Uh, Transformers? No, <laughs> hell no, no. We ain't talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about in 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 a in a world of man and woman. You gotta come fully equipped to be a man. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> you, you ain't no sometime. If you ain't got the package, then you ain't got the package, yeah. man. Yeah, you can't yeah. be a Tucker. Being a man is not optional. No, it's not. You got to get it in. You got to be who you. I mean, like I say, it's subjective. A man can be. You say it's subjective. I'm saying it's objective. It, XY chromosome, freaking uh, a penis and testicles. Well, we're coming from two different places here. I I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like I just. I but in the world us, today, we need to clarify. Like, let's touch down and say hi. I identify as a man. Nothing else, and we're gonna keep going in this conversation. But right? when you start with I identify as that, that <laughs> <laughs> that can go some other way. That can go somewhere else too, because that the whole identify as. I can identify as whatever. We exist in a world of pronouns and such. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and so when these people are starting to change the rules, I don't know how to play by your rules. And so, like, the only thing that I know from my frame of reference is, hey, testosterone flows in my veins, absolutely. XY chromosome, uh, penis, testicles. Hi, I'm a man. What's up? I'm a man. <laughs> and, and if you got anything other than that, then you, you can't be a man. Whatever it is, the work, the like the social experience. That woman, she felt comfortable enough to try to put her arms around my neck and, and take the life out of my lungs. Yeah, yeah. And she thought it was funny. That, hey, and if I do the exact same thing, I go to prison for two years. What's oh yeah, a uh, plus. <laughs> plus, if you if you succeed with it, you go. It's not called uh, the word. It's called strangulation. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the word. Yeah, that's the terminology yeah. that they use. Yeah, she's like, so, you see all the marks on my neck. The point of my story yeah. is, like, I, be I believe in equality. I think everyone should have an opportunity to pursue whatever goals they have. But men have to compete. I think they done twisted up the whole equality, the, the, the meaning of equality. Tell me, tell me. My meaning of equality, I mean, equality is, how do I say this? Uh, I think you should have the exact same opportunities that I have. Yes, but like, we, but they they think equality is the same. If you want to come try out for the football team, then come try out for the football team. But when you come out there and they come and smash on you, you can't cry because you try, that's that's equality. Yeah, yeah. But you can't tell me that I can't run full speed when you're trying to play in the football game. Yeah, this is football. This is a man sport. You can't say no. I can't tackle you yeah, when you want yeah. to play football. Yeah. You can't change the entire institution because of your thoughts and your feelings. So what I'm saying is, I love you so much that I want to see you excel. And you think that you're actually competing with me, and so you want me to fail. And that makes a contradiction in the market between men and women. Absolutely.
I mean, if you if you want to step into what men are doing, you have to perform like a man. You can't be coming <laughs> over here and and all kind of rules because you don't feel because in your mind you really don't think that you're equal to a man. When you look at the news right now, you don't hear no stories about a trans man who is getting barred from a, a dressing room or getting barred from any sports. Because when they go and compete, every man in the locker room is happy to see that you came. You hear them? They're going to ask you questions. Why do you have those scars? They're very curious people. Men yeah. happen to be very curious people. We're human beings. Human beings ask questions. Hmm. And when you get out there and you go compete, whether it's running or swimming or whatever a trans man wants to compete with, men win. Men win. <laughs> so ain't nobody mad because men win. No. The only thing that happens is when the the roles are, are flipped. If 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 I like me a, a man like me right now, I'm, I'm 250 pounds. I say I want to go and weight lift with women. You give me six months and I can bench press 405 pounds. Oh yeah. Tell tell another woman in my weight class Ain't gonna to be come, none. Hey Ain't. hey, come come bench press 405. Come dead lift 630 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come squat a thousand. But they think that's fair. They think that's fair. But like you say, when it's, the, when it's the other way around, it's all good. The only way that it's ever fair is in the first scenario when I sit back and I just allow you to choke me out. Yeah. That's the only way it's fair. If and, I let you do it. And American men right now, we just sitting back and allowing these women to choke us out. They beat us in every statistical category. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, uh, could you please stop? Man, <laughs> say, a lot of men, the, the men out here trading their balls in. <laughs> say, y'all need to get your balls back, man. But in a feminine world, so like, how can you be a dominant person when the woman you dating makes more money than you? My, I, in my mind, money doesn't determine value. I completely understand that. But when you sit there and you in her apartment and she just paid for dinner and she sent you wearing the, the underwear that she bought you, she's sitting there looking at you like, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, shit. What can you do? I mean, that's just that, a, that's a societal that, norm. That that's the situation. She knew the situation when she got into it. <laughs> I mean, he knew the situation. They both knew the situation. I, so if you're making more money than me, then that's just what it is. Spend some of your money. Like if I had all the money, I'd be spending on you. If we want to equality. have a truly equality, uh, equal society, like they really want, right? You would assume the exact same burden that I have to protect your feelings, to protect you at all times. But she's sitting back. She about to go to work, and you sitting on the couch eating some cornflakes. Sucking up all her AC. <laughs> yeah. You worse than the kids. And while she's sitting in the office, her boss, who has more money than you, is flirting with her. She's like, I'd rather have a fling with him than come back and deal with you. Yeah. So, you, I mean, hey, that makes you, that, that emasculates you as a person. Hey, so when we talk about what is a man, I wanted to start with the physical component because a man is a biological male yeah. who is an adult person. Biological. This, this is a man, right? And so now when you get that nonsense out of the way, we can proceed forward. And so we have to ask like the social questions. Right now, you said this wonderful thing to me when I was talking to you on the phone. I called you earlier and you said, man, men need to be dangerous. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, holy. And and we live in such a neutered ass world that when you said the word dangerous, I was like, no, nah, I don't want men to be no. dangerous. No. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I'm afraid of men being strong and powerful. And yeah, courageous that's, what, that's the world we live in. Right. It even got you. It, it, it had you for a second there. <laughs> we having a private conversation and no, ain't nobody listening. Yeah. And I'm afraid to, to speak freely. Yeah. That's how you know that you're living in a society where Brainwash. you're not free. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, they we, digitally controlling us. They got a digital whip, and we don't just say accept that. It. Don't say that. You know what being courageous is right now is to say what you think, right? And do what you want to. I think that's one of the most exciting things about being a man. You can say whatever you want as long as you're willing to take the licking that comes with it, huh? Yeah. It, hey. And the key thing is, that be willing to fight if the fight come to you, and stand on it. Stand on it. All these young men running around here talking about I stand on business. Business. What is business? I don't know what business is because y'all ain't standing on nothing. You know what I think business is? Business is absolute freedom, right? I have the freedom to think whatever I want to do and the, then pursue those thoughts to make all my dreams come to fruition. I think that's what masculinity is. It's to have an idea and they're going to make that shit happen. So that's why they think uh, women, they, they, they call women masculine because they had those <laughs> same thoughts. Because women are looking, they're like, Oh, for real? Hey, I, all I got to do is smile at you and say hi to you twice. Yeah. And you're not going to compete with me? Yeah. You're going to watch me kick your ass, huh? And then, Be 
I can't breathe. Because you Stop. have in your mind, you have the uh, the idea that you might be able to touch that cookie. You might. <laughs> you just might. All she did was say hi to you. Or she might be playing you. <laughs> and your imagination told you because she yeah. said hi, you was finna get some cookie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, some niggas out here is delusional as a motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. These women, these women know how to play the game. They play it well. And these women know they have more power than you if you choose not to compete. And so when you start talking about competition, they like you're I feel like you're trying to be aggressive right now because you know that. In order for you to win, I can't compete. I can't, yeah. I can't be aggressive and win. They know they can't, they really can't compete with us. So if they 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 knock down that one barrier. I love you so much. I want to cheer for you. I yeah. want to clap for you. Yeah. But you want me to lose. Like, I would love it if we could just, like, slow down together and, like, kiss as we cross the god dog on finish line and make one of those magical moments. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fairy tale. <laughs> Yes, Straight up. if you believed in us the way that I believe in you, then we could have a most powerful thing. But it's a one-sided belief. Man, hey, I don't know what it feels like to have, like to just go into my uh, comment section and see like a hundred people trying to holler at me. I don't know what that feels like. No, I don't either. That's a different type of experience. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll blow your head <laughs> up real quick. The moment she gets mad at me, she has a hundred other options. Yeah, on speed dial. All she got to do is reply to one. And she's a beautiful person. She's like an adjustable six, but an adjustable six. In men's world, the possibility of getting a piece of cookie, she's a 10. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a bunch of cats out here willing to pay for it. You're so beautiful. You Oh, he didn't buy you that? I'll buy you I'll that. I'll get it for you. I'll get you yeah. whatever you want. I'm going to send you a trip. I'm going to send you on a trip. He ain't listening to what she was saying. I'm going to fly you out. I'm going to hear everything you tell me. Yeah. Six weeks later. He has he called me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blocked from his number. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jody. Man, there's some serious games being played out here, man. It's not even a game. It's it's like we're trying to adjust to this reality where women are so powerful and have 51% of the labor force, and men have been like pushed into the situation. It's like, man, I can't do anything. So what are we supposed to do? God dog it, create. Be creative, be innovative, be a man. Look at the look at the situation, assess so the situation. We, we always hear "be a man." Yes, sir. Look. What 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 does that entail? I'm telling you. And so, like, you have to be courageous. You have to ha you have to be inventive. You have to have some imagination. Yeah. You gotta look at the obstacle and say, "Oh, oh, yeah, I have to beat this whole game with my hands tied behind my back." Watch, watch, watch this. Then okay. I'm gonna I'm have some quads. My abs are gonna be strong. Oh, yeah, you boom, boom, boom. My calves are gonna be banging. Yeah, yeah. you out shit. Here. I'm, I, you want you want me to beat you with my hands tied behind my back? Watch what I do. Yeah, but I'm, you have to accept the challenge, though. Yeah, it, I I think that's what it's about. A lot of people don't want the challenge. They don't want to stand up for it, like we just said. People, that, <laughs> I can't do nothing. You we we're afraid of consequences. Yeah. We are scared of the responsibility of freedom. Hmm. You got to defend freedom. You got to protect freedom. You hear me? You got to continue Shit. to fight for it. You got to be courageous. Like you hear the me? elders. <laughs> Straight up. You got to show up. The only, like, I think it might be some type of propaganda how they always feed us Malcolm. They feed us Malcolm, Martin. They tell me about Medgar. They tell me about uh, John F. Kennedy. They want to tell me about the, the men who stood up and how they got mowed down. Yeah. Tell me about the ones who stood up and didn't get mowed down, huh? I know you exist. What is it? Shit, right here. <laughs> That's real. That's real. I feel that. Hell I ain't, yeah. I ain't even think about that. That gets me excited. Yeah, yeah. In the market right now, they think that the only thing that is valuable is money. And I'm like, man, my beliefs is valuable. My family is valuable. Yeah. There are things that I'm willing... If I saw a, a, a baby and a, stack, and a stack of money, I'm going to go pick up the baby. To save the baby because the baby is worth a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. What is your value system? Yeah, I think the uh, one of the problems is men like us who do stand up. We we're not on a certain level as the the other men who are being seen that have stood up, and they don't want to work with people like us because they think they're above us. They system is designed so that they have some people who work hard to get to that place and say, I like that job, that one job that's available. Yeah. But the, the system is not able to withstand hardworking individuals who are willing to come from the working class and be like, hey, 
there's 40 million of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you only want to talk to those 40,000? There's 40 million of us. They only want to deal with the managerial class. And so when the working class and poor men sit there and be like, hey, I got muscles and a cocking balls too. I got the same thing y'all got. They got to get right. But I don't think it's enough of us saying something though. So like that's the point of having media is so that you listen to me and you be like, damn, I want to. You get have- empowered. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up to do something. <laughs> Shit, I need you to be hard for free, nigga. Pause. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do your 10 push-ups. I know like the, the aches and pains of life, they can really just whoop you down, man. I deal with depression. I deal with sadness. I deal with anxiety. Nigga, I deal with fear. I deal with anger. I deal with all the whole gamut all of emotions. Shit. But I still show up. I'm a man. Yeah. But yeah. then I got to call on my, my, my network of men. They be like, hey, dog, I ain't got it today. And they're like, what you mean you ain't got it? They going to get on your ass. That's called accountability. Mm-hmm. But you can't run away from from that type of uh of admonishment, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want that. Account- accountability, accountability is a, one of the scariest things for most human beings. They don't want someone who's gonna tell them, "You said this. You why you ain't doing this because you said I'm I'm just telling you what you said." The only way that you can be great is if you get some resistance. Yeah. If it was easy, everybody, everybody would do be it. Doing it. Yeah. And baby. A oh, beautiful, sweet lady, the one who you smashed a hundred man in a hundred days. You know why you did that? Because you easy. easy. Straight up. As a Sunday morning. Two letters. E Z. Yeah. And I say that because as we talk about the the responsibility that men have to choose to, to be courageous, to choose to go against adversity to accomplish a goal, I sit there and I'm like, hey women. We're doing all this for you. We bear all punishment because we want you to have a nice life. Yeah. Because I want to see you smile. Yeah, but I don't think the women don't appreciate that. They don't even see it that they way. Don't, they don't acknowledge it. They don't, none of that. You being a good man is an expectation. Absolutely. <laughs> but what about being a good woman? <laughs> There's no definition of what that is. All she got to do is roll out of bed and either put some draws on or not. It's optional. It's still bad. Mm. You're, you're an exceptional mother. <laughs> we're going to come up with something she good at. Bro, all she got to do is be like, you just got to know that she exists. And you might be the most wonderful mother ever. Yeah, but a man got to be everything from A to Z. <laughs> These are the expectations that we have in our society. And I don't even mind that. Because I think that I'm supposed to be exceptional. I think I'm supposed to work hard. I think you're supposed to. They need to stand on that equality, though. If we're, if we're, uh, if they have these certain expectations, they need to have those as well. You know what? They can think whatever they want to think. The only thing that we can do is show them in real life. Hey, when I compete, you can't compete. That's real. When I compete, you can't compete. Yeah. Cause you, hey. That's why I'm always like my whole my whole goal is to have a 10 million man march when 10 million working the class men when when you stand up and you march to the capital of whatever city that you live in whatever state that you live in mm-hmm. you go to the capital then they they can't do nothing. Nah. All they can do is sit there and acknowledge that this peaceful protest of powerful men came to the all these capitals across the nation and said, "Hey, we here, we exist and you're hurting us." Yeah. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and all those leads. <laughs> when you say that individually, do you say it don't hit? It don't hit no hard. It, it don't hit that hard. She might even call you a bitch. Oh yeah, you gonna yeah? You a hoe? You a hoe ass nigga and all that? And when ten million bitches show up, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> the niggas gonna come out. No, I'm saying they call me a bitch, and so ten million oh, okay. men yeah, who yeah, been yeah, called yeah, bitches yeah, show the yeah, fuck up, yeah. right? If you put me in the room with a bad bitch, I guess I'm a badder bitch if you want to compete in that way, yeah, right? Yeah. If you're talking about, man, that's the baddest bitch over yonder, and you tell me that I'm a bitch, then, hey, bitch, what's up? I'll be the baddest <laughs> one in the room. I'm showing up. There are so many different ways. when you Terminology for bitch, terminology for man. What is a woman? As our society evolves, we have to defend what we believe in, man. If, if you ain't doing that, then uh, men, men going to be women. And women gonna be men. I got four sons. I tell my sons the men meet ladies and have babies. That's what you Straight supposed up. to do, man. And I have two daughters. And my <laughs> biggest, my biggest fear is they're not gonna be enough men 
out there when they get older for them to even want to have babies with. That's a legitimate concern. It, it's too many. It's too many single people out here giving this terrible advice to their to their sons, and there, there's a lot of there's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of men. Ahead. It's a lot of men out here who is uh being terrible examples for their sons, and I, I just hope it's enough of them out here by by the time my daughter's generation gets up in age. They talk about emotional trauma. Can you imagine being a young man raised by a single mother who tells you? Like she's always dominating you, telling you what, what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right. Yeah. She's never telling you, man, I, I thank you so much for carrying the groceries mm -hmm. up these three flights of stairs. I thank you so much for changing out this water. I thank you so much for being just a strong, masculine young man that you are. He don't get that type of praise. And in, in all actuality, she's treating you like a son boyfriend. A son, husband, son, boyfriend. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same treatment. She don't like you. She don't like you. She don't like no man. So she just going to run over whoever, whenever. You a grown ass woman calling your son. That's my king. Yeah. How is your son that's your king? That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I done heard women talk, grown women talking about that's my boyfriend. Hey, if if your son is your king, what are you? Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Man. You a servant in your son's kingdom? You yeah. his queen? You his queen. <laughs> that sounds weird. It doesn't even make any sense. No it's sense not even logical. All. But we just say these things because... They, like, they sound good in our heads. And it's something that's been repetitive, re repeated so long that we think that's, that it's right. We live in a society where words have no meaning whatsoever. No, none whatsoever. <laughs> it's just a bunch of googly gob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, goo goo ga ga. Like the little, that you ever seen a little boy on, uh, it's a little baby. He be like, blah, 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 and all that baby talk. <laughs> That's all we doing is baby talking. It's, it's nonsense. Like, uh, it's like the Tower of Babel. Like we've confused ourselves in such a way that we can't have, there's like no meaning. If, if I say anything that you dislike, you call me a Trump supporter. Oh yeah. <laughs> or worse. <laughs> A nigga. <laughs> yeah, straight up. And if you say something to 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 black people, what they what they gonna call you? A, a coon. Yeah, you are Uncle Tom. A Uncle Tom coon, some crazy like that. Yeah, you said the exact same. It's like I told you that time I got called a Negro European. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But if my beliefs make me that, I guess that whatever. There's there's like there's no real dialogue. Everyone is. It's up in arms. It's freestyling. And I'm just, I think that's really because when you allow this type of uh, victimhood rhetoric to just run rampant, mm -hmm. that if you're strong, that you're not supposed to be strong, that if you're strong, there's some type of privilege. Yeah. Like if being born a man was a privilege, like I'm looking for all the welfare that wonderful women in America get, and it ain't finna come my way. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. And I'm okay with that. But I need you to appreciate me a little bit. A little bit. And it's yeah. not just, you know, like men need to appreciate men too. A man, a man see another man going through some shit and he'll be like, hey, hey, dog, I think you got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and in the back of his mind, he's like, at least it ain't me. <laughs> at least it ain't, it ain't me. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That's such a nasty thought to be like, man, I'm just so glad that it's not me. And a female be like, man, that nigga ain't shit. <laughs> That boy ain't, man, he can't take care of himself. He can't do it. What he going to do for me? I heard these women on one of those panels, you know, it was one of those shows where was a bunch of women talking about what it means to be a man or what they expect from a man. And she was like, a privilege of being a man is you can walk down an alley at 2 o'clock in the morning and not be afraid. I say, what alley? I live in Houston, Texas, man. I'm not going to walk down. I ain't walking down <laughs> Nan Alley. I ain't going to be in, in downtown Houston just out there just freestyling like la di da di da I was at a privilege. <laughs> Hey, men get robbed more than women I'm get robbed. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Straight up. They just make up these things. They have these fairy tales inside their mind where it's, it's no actual reality. And so what I'm saying is like, if men choose not to actually set a standard, if men choose not to build and be creators, then all this nonsense can happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to keep we, going. It's going to keep happening. If we choose to be a uh, debaucherous ass men and we just... And we watch all of your Instagram posts. We watch all your TikTok posts. We watch all your uh, your YouTube, own, yeah, yeah, all your private content. We just want, we just paying you every dollar we got in our pocket, mm -hmm. giving you the possibility 
to be the nasty little thing that you is. But men, they don't want no man. You want about 10,000 of them to give At you. At once. <laughs> straight up. To give you all that money. All that money. Yeah. But, and that's what we live in right now. And so the question is never, what is a man? I think the question is, what is a good man? Because I'm looking at all these bad things that are happening, and the only way that it happens if 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 good men do nothing. Yeah. If if good men sit back and says none of my business. Because you can a lot of people will do things just because they know men ain't gonna stand up for nothing. They ain't gonna stand up for a nothing. Yeah. And as I don't care what you believe, you look at the society right now. Are are your beliefs and values being reflected in the society? And if they're not, what are you doing to stand on what you believe? Hmm. What is your value system? Yeah. A, one of those uh, models, one of those Instagram models, well, she's not an Instagram model. She actually shows her whole full body. You can see it all for like $7.95 on this little website, right? $7.95. $7.95, and you can see everything that the good Lord blessed her with. Huh. <laughs> all double Ds of all it. All double Ds. <laughs> God, y'all. That's your worth? Hey, but but she's in like the top 0-1% of creators that do that style of creation, that adult creation. Yeah. And so they asked her, they said, do you plan on having children? She said, yes. She said, what are you going to do if they make fun of your child? She said, they can cry home in a Lambo. <laughs> See, that, that money, man, money, that, it ain't the root of all evil, but God, dog, these making figures do anything for it. And she's so excited. She was like, she's going to ask... The, the, the names of the children who are making fun of her because she knows that their dads have subscriptions. To she, her stuff. Yes. And she's going to send them a, a, a bundle of cakes and like So she think, she videos. think just because the child is riding home in a Lambo that that don't affect them mentally? Hey, be, being rich is supposed to be just the, 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 the healing ointment for everything. It makes... Hey, are you, are you sick? You're dying from cancer? Have a little money. Have a little money, yeah. You're getting a divorce? And make your bubble boy. <laughs> Have a little money. <laughs> yeah. God, dog. And, and this capitalistic idea, I, I don't mind competition, but we also have services that are not competition, right? The fire department is not a competition. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it the isn't. education department is not supposed to be a competition, yeah. but it, now it is a competition between Christianity and LGBTQ ideology. I don't even know all the macronyms. You tell I me that I can't pray, but you're going to sit there and pray upon my children. Yeah, and you got all your rainbow flags and your pronouns hanging up everywhere. It can't be no Bible, but you can sit there and you can read the I can gospel preach you. of of uh RuPaul <laughs> in the book of RuPaul you supposed to say <laughs> that's okay that's but okay. but my children wanting to pray is not acceptable yeah. and that's the problem the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive